In this lecture, we'll be discussing another solved problem from regular languages and finite automata. And this problem is from GATE 2012. All right, so let's see what is this question. So it says here, what is the complement of the language accepted by the NFA shown below? So we have an NFA given here. And the question is, what is the complement of the language accepted by the NFA over here? So complement can mean the opposite of what it is doing. That is what we mean by complement. So we have the NFA given over here and we have four options. So first of all, let us see what is this NFA. So here, this is the starting state and we have an input symbol A, which goes to the final state over here. And from the final state, if we get epsilon, which is the empty symbol, it goes to this next state over here. And even in this next state, if it gets epsilon or the empty symbol, it goes back to the starting state and then it continues like this. So the options that we have are phi, epsilon, a star or a closure of A and in D we have a set containing A and epsilon. So our task is to find the complement of this language. So complement means whatever is accepted by this language, the opposite of that, the opposite of whatever is accepted by this language. That is the complement of this language. So first of all, we have to find out what does this NFA accept? What are the kind of languages accepted by this NFA? And after finding that, we can find the complement. So let us see what are the languages or what are the kind of strings accepted by this NFA. So if we look carefully, you can see that we only have one symbol in this NFA, A. The other symbols are blank symbols or empty symbols, which is epsilon. So A is the only symbol that is there in this NFA. So if we analyze from here, if we start from this starting state and if we get A, if we get the symbol A, it goes to the final state. So if we get A, it goes to the final state and it gets accepted. And after it gets A, if we get nothing or the empty symbol, it goes to this state over here. And even in this state, if it gets the empty symbol or epsilon, it comes back to the starting state. And in the starting state, if we get A again, then it goes to the final state. So we are getting two A's. First one A we got here and another A if we get again, as I showed you now, it comes to the final state and it gets accepted. So it continues like this. So if we go on like this, we see that any number of A's will be accepted by this NFA. All right. But we have to see that at least one A has to be there for sure. Right. So if we just get empty symbol in the first place itself in the starting state, it is not going to go to the final state. In order to get to the final state over here, at least one A has to be there. So the kind of language accepted by this NFA can be written as A plus. Because why did I write A plus? Because it has to be one or more number of A's. If it is A closure or A star, it means zero or more number of A's. Even if it is zero number of A's, it will be accepted. But in this case, we saw that at least one A has to be there. So it is not A closure. It has to be a plus. This is the kind of language accepted by the NFA. All right. So this is what the NFA accepts. Now we have to find the complement of the language. That means the opposite of that. Now, what will be the opposite of this? So if we look here, we only have one symbol, which is A. We don't have any other symbols other than A. And the, all the others that we have are the blank symbol epsilon. So what will be the opposite of A plus? It will obviously be the blank symbol or the epsilon. So that is going to be the complement of this NFA. So if we look at options, we have option A as phi, B as epsilon, C as A closure, and D as A and epsilon. So the correct option should be option B, which is epsilon or the blank symbol. So it cannot be A, which is phi, and it cannot be C, which is A star, because I already told you why. And it cannot be A and epsilon either. So if it is A and epsilon, that means at least one A will be there and then epsilon. But that is not the case. In the complement of this language, since the language accepts only A plus, the complement will be opposite of this. So there will be no A's at all. So it will be the epsilon or the blank symbol. So the right option for this question is option number B, which is epsilon. So I hope that was clear to you. 
Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.